Good morning, YouTube. It's Steve, and it is Thanksgiving Day here in the U.S. I'm with Sasha. She's doing good. Almost two years old now, about 165 pounds. Still a little ball of energy, sort of. And I got a new phone, which means dog walking thoughts is back as well as more content for airplanes and things of that nature. Um, <clears throat> so welcome to Dog Walking Thoughts. I'm going to throw out some ideas of what I've been going through the past couple months and years, I guess, of, of playing these airplane games. And the topic today is Mission Obscura. So what does that mean? Well, it seems that we as war gamers hunt out the unique. We hunt out the randomness. We hunt out that one in a million uh, opportunity to play something different. Um, you know, we've been focusing on Dutch Buffaloes, uh, CW21 Demons, etc. We put, the, put those on the stands at a convention and people are like, what, what is that? What's going on? I didn't know that. And it seems as war gamers, we like to find that really little known battle, little known action and, and exploit it and show people, hey, look at this. So the reason I'm saying that is as long as that is fun to you, that's great. But we played a game using mainstream aircraft. Yeah, that's right. P-51 Mustangs, etc. And I kind of like that. You know, going back to the basics of what everyone knows about was really fun. Um, now that has led into another little obscure type, little known conflict, which was the first Arab-Israeli war. And that's what we use those Mustangs for. I played my Mach-E 205 and Egyptian markings, and it was really fun. So that led us into explore the jet age of that period and other oddities that flew, such as C-47s being used as bombers and Piper Cubs throwing out Molotov cocktails. So when you guys are playing a game or writing up a game or researching it, how deep and obscure to you do you get i mean these these little adventures and one-offs of of things that happen that no one knows of i find just quite amazing it's, it's neat to learn about it it's it's fun to learn that you know there's only two to four mustangs that flew for the israeli air force and they did a whole lot of damage but we don't know about it um so that's where we are. We're, we're looking at more of these obscure, but at the same time, like I said before, every now and then sprinkling in with a mainstream airplane, uh, having fun with those. During the tank battles of World War II, you know, you hear things about this little tank that was from 1940 lasting and taking out tanks from 1945. Um, you know, things of that nature. What obscure type scenarios does everyone want to play or look into? Other than that, what's on the table right now are aircraft for the Battle of the Crossroads, the one convention we all seem to meet up with at. Uh, that will be in February. And right now we're going to be doing 31st Fighter Group Spitfives versus 109s, or sorry, 190 A4s. So there you go. There's some mainstream aircraft. Um, we may be doing a what if scenario. Well, I hope we're going to do the what if scenario because I'm working on them. Uh, Mike, the new guy, oh gosh, Mike, Mark, the new guy, he uh, designed a little scenario using Gloucester Meteor 3s, helping out a B-17 block, getting hit by 262s. I'll do a little video on what we're going to be doing uh, down the road as we get closer. So if Mark did it, we have to do it ourselves. First scenario that he wrote. Maybe we'll sneak a Malta scenario from Paul like we did last time. We'll see. But... That's it, guys. Mission Obscura is a good to find the little known offbeat adventures for our wargaming tables, or do we stick with what is known by everybody? That's it. Enjoy the new phone. Enjoy Sasha. Boy, what a dog. Everybody else is doing good. Take care and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>